Hello there, folks. This is Joe Wazoo here with Automated Dynamics Corporation. Today, I'd like to talk to you about some new products out from Red Lion uh, and uh, maybe get you a chance to uh, consider looking or consider this new product. Uh, first of all, let me talk about the, the other product we have here. This is called the PTV. I call this the Productivity Station, or Red Lion calls it their Productivity Station. Some people call this the Black Box product. We also make this in a Red Box variation called the Data Station Plus or Module Controller units. But in this case, this here is the Productivity Station. What's interesting about this product team is that you have one Ethernet port on here, you have an RS-485 port here, a 232 port here, and another 232 port. You also have a DVI HDMI output designed to go to flat screen TVs. That's why it's called the Productivity Station, designed to gather data from multiple PLCs and put it out on a TV here. You also have a compact flash card on the side here, which is used for data storage on this unit. So this is the compact flash card for storage. And you do have one slot here for additional uh, card that can go in here. You do have one port for a USB host here, and you can download this unit over the USB connection or also over Ethernet. This product is a Crimson 3.0 only product. It does not run newer Crimson software. This one is on the Crimson 3.0 platform. Uh, so that's the productivity station. Now I'm also being a huge advocate today for the new product out from Redline called the Edge Controller. I really love this product team because it's it's rock solid. It's beautiful hardware. It's tough. I mean, it feels like a, a stereo amplifier, Rockford Fosgate amplifier. It's rock solid. Really nice product all around. You can't ask for a better, tougher design than this. As far as uh, some of the communications and capabilities. It does come built in with two Ethernet ports on here. See, two Ethernet ports, I should say. It has two USB hoax ports. I have a number of customers using this, one to a keyboard, another one to a mouse. I even have a customer that comes out to this and goes out to a USB hub splitter to get more ports. Works pretty slick. You also see on here that you've got a 232 port here, and you've got two RS-45 ports. That's also nice as well. You've got a USB download port here, and one of the big benefits I like to it is that with this model, you can use an SD memory card as opposed to the old-fashioned compact flash card. So you can use SD cards. Also, this product team runs Crimson 3.0 and 3.1 software, which allows itself to get some benefits of the new Crimson 3.1 in terms of graphics and web server that I'll show off a little later. Another nice thing about this product is it does have a slot here next door where you can actually add I.O. cards. Follows the same form factor as the Graphite series where you can add these I.O. cards on here and build on. And then the Edge controller also has a slot on the side where you can stack in racks as well. Everything's powered off 24 DC. Uh, really nice product. I'm a huge advocate for using the Edge uh, in my new applications over the PTV. One of the big reasons I like to do that is because with the Ethernet port and with today's smart TVs, uh, particularly the LG and the Samsung brand, you can pull up the web server through this and you get use of the whole TV. Plus, this guy running on Crimson 3.1 allows up to 20 users or 20 TVs could be looking at the web page for that. Whereas with the old productivity station, you have one DVI out here, output here, really goes on to one TV unless you buy some kind of HDMI splitter, which of course increased your cost. This thing, team, is about half the price, actually a little less than half the price of this guy, brand new, and has a ton of new features. Another thing also with it is with the SD card running Crimson 3.1, you get the FAT32 file format, so now you get a lot longer, uh, more, much bigger data files you can put on here, and you can use long file names. So, in a nutshell, that is the new Edge Controller team. I really like this product a lot. Please get with your local Red Lion representative and uh, see if you can borrow a demo of it or see a demo. It's we're just, you got to feel it. I can't tell you how cool this thing feels just to hold. It's rock solid. So let me go ahead and show you the video, uh, the web page that comes out of this as well. Here, continuing on my little demo here. I still have the Edge here. And what I've done is I've got it connected to two Ethernet ports, one of them. Uh, the green cable here is connected to a little switch right here, which then is connected over to my laptop, running the web browser right here. And then the other port on here is connected to the yellow cable, which goes over to that wall socket right there, 
and I have a TV here I'm going to try to show the web browser on. So let's see if I can set this down here. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and use the app on the TV here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this. And this is a uh, Samsung TV I have here that I just purchased that has a web browser built in. So if you look here, I'll go to the web browser here. <clears throat> it's going to open up the local IP address of the one that's here at the office. But I want to show you the one that's operating here. So I'm going to go up here. And I'll go over here, team, and I'll go add a new tab right here. Boom. Right there, a new tab. And then all I have to do up here is put in the IP address that I currently have. And I think, uh, do I have a history here? Let me see here. Uh, if I go, well, let's go ahead. So the IP address of the screen is 192. There it is. It's going to be, uh, it's down here, number 55. I see it there. So if I go up here to the history, can I come down here to, aha. Uh -huh. So if we go down a little further here, right there is the one. Click on it here. Now if I click here on Remote View, get this little mouse to work on this thing, right here, click. And here you see, this is the web browser of the screen. I wonder if I can turn the light off here. Hold on. Let's see if I can turn off the light. Maybe not. Okay. There we go. So here is the web browser on the giant 55 inch TV here in our office right here I don't know how clear it shows up but this is using the edge controller and then of course I'm running the same screen over here on my laptop as well so if I go down here to the laptop and I'm going to use in my case my mouse here if I put in a rate here click here and of course with Crimson 3.1 you can use your keyboard here so if I just put a number one, two here, for instance, enter. We should start to see the temperature rise here. You can also see it on the screen right there. It's rising up there on the screen as well. Right there. And you can see the chart going up and down. And a couple other graphics here. Once it hits the top, it should start to come down. And we can see it here as well. So again, that's a further continuation of why I'm such a huge advocate for this new edge controller product over the existing PTV when you want to do TV applications. I really like it for that application right there using the new web browser. So again, edge controller. Check it out team. Talk to your local Redline person. It's a great product to touch and feel. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day.